you doing this, Sam? Because there's some good left in the world, Frodo, and it's worth freezing for. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Shad, and yes, we're doing this. It needs to be done. This is the type of thing that the internet was invented for, and nothing else. The internet objectively has no other uses apart from figuring and testing out stuff like this and sharing it with the world. Because ever since The Hobbit was made, the book and the films, we need to know, can a barrel actually work as a flotation device? Can, uh, would it be stable? Can you get in? I, there's so many questions that we need to know. First of all, in the book, Bilbo seals the dwarves completely in the barrels, completely locked shut. And uh, he actually kind of gets in one normally. I can't remember if he holds on to it or he couldn't put the lid on or anything. So we're not going to be testing actually being sealed in an airtight barrel. But because the film, there's actually a fight scene where the dwarves are actually, they're in the barrels. You see them on the barrel, they're there and they're fighting off, you know, orcs and things. And I, like when I'm watching the film, these things are staying remarkably upright and uh, they are incredibly stable while in the water. So we need, we need to find out. We get a test this. Look, we've got water right there. So I'm aware that in the Hobbit film, they had specially made floating and stable barrel props that the actors were actually in and they worked quite well. But the purpose of this video is to find out if you can actually float inside a real wine barrel the same way that we see in the Hobbit film. And so I, I'm actually I'm going to be doing this, but not only me, I am joined by my faithful companion squires, but now knights from over on the game nights. Guys, come in and say hello. And so we have Sir Ben, well actually no, Hobbit Ben, Hobbit Ben, Hobbit Oz, and also Ho Hobbit, Hobbit Nathan. And so we're all wearing our, our appropriately attired Hobbiton gear. And we're all going to give it. Also, we need it. We need help to get in. We need. There's a couple of things that we're going to be doing, and uh, and so these guys are going to be helping me out in this endeavour. But before we get there, in fact, before we get there, guys, we're in. We're in the Hobbit gear, and I do believe. Looking at the sun, it's either time for Levensies or second breakfast. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's go eat. We'll be back. Oh. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm starved too. Yeah, what do you got to eat? Oh, I got some nutritious tree bark right here. Mm. I got myself some jerky. I've had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. <sighs> oh, hello there. That looks pretty fresh. You're right. It's what it's called. It's hello fresh. Uh, this one, seared steak and creamy peppercorn sauce with mashed potatoes. Potatoes? What are potatoes precious? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Can we have some? Yeah, what? why can't we have some meat? What about potatoes, eh? They don't need those. Guys, guys, it feeds four. Okay, speaking honestly and sincerely right now, I've actually been using HelloFresh for ages, well before they were ever a sponsor on this channel. At first, when I saw HelloFresh advertised, honestly, I kind of thought it was a bit of a gimmick. But then my wife and I were able to order a free box, and hey, you know, free food, why not? And when we tried it, we were legitimately blown away. The food was delicious. And on top of that, they offer so many different types of meals that we actually kept all the recipe cards so we have them on record if we ever want to make something again. These are all the different HelloFresh meal cards that we've gotten over the past. There's always something new, keeping things really interesting, and they're all delicious. In actual fact, HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit. By doing HelloFresh, it opened up our options and added way more variety, and the food that we were eating was so much more nutritious and healthy. It took out the stress and annoyance of writing down the specific ingredients that we needed, and all their recipes are really easy to make, usually only taking 20 to 30 minutes. Put it out, you fool! Put it out! Why? The Black Riders are coming! No, they're not. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, keep going. Yep. 
Because their ingredients are pre-proportioned, there's actually far less prep time so you can make it quicker and there's less waste as well so it's more sustainable. It's really flexible. You can add extra dinners and lunches to your weekly order and my wife and I ended up adding lunches to our orders just because it was so much easier and again for all the other benefits. You can change the delivery days that HelloFresh arrives and sometimes even skip a week because oftentimes we would order enough meals for the whole week but we might want to get something like takeout throughout the week which would leave us you know a spare meal or two and when it built up enough we would just simply skip a week because we had extra meals to cover that following week so it's like I said really flexible. Put it out you fools put it out! What is it this time? The other hobbits are coming they're smelling the food they're on a stampede here right now! Oh, that is a wait 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 they haven't stopped a second breakfast they'll be hours still. Okay. On top of all this, HelloFresh is actually really dedicated to try and give back. They've donated over 4 million meals to charity just in 2020. And they've continued to step up their food donations during these lockdown times. So as I mentioned before, in all honesty, I actually really recommend HelloFresh. It's something I've used in my own life a lot before it was ever a sponsor. It's really worthwhile and there are so many reasons why I think you should give it a try. For the great amount of nutrition that the meals offer, the more balanced diet, more variety, the delicious food, and HelloFresh is offering a phenomenal deal where you can try out this for free. I'm not kidding. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code SHADOWVERSITY12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Seriously, 12 free meals right there. And guys, it's, it's free food. And it's delicious. You'll love it. Seriously. Just use that promo code SHADOWVERSITY12. And oh, I'll repeat it again so you don't miss it. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code SHADOWVERSITY12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Give it a go. Those meals are free and delicious I know from experience and I genuinely feel you'll be very impressed and also thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video mm -hmm. mm. oh how good is the steak it's so good that's like really tender mm -hmm. mm. all right test for me is the veggies because I'm not a fan of veggies usually well, let's see what um this is, a, this is an odd it's a uh, zucchini and uh, what's the other one? silver beet silver beet zucchini and silver beet it's actually quite nice. So, let's have a... Huh. No, that's actually pretty good. It, it, like, it gets the juices, and actually, that's actually really good. <laughs> There's a couple of things that we need to do before we can really start to test this. Now, I went out of my way and I have purchased some top tier wine barrels, right? These are, you know, I think it's oak or something like that. Um, I bought them from the Wine Barrel Warehouse. Shout out to those guys, appreciate your service. And so these things are solid as they come and watertight, except that you'll notice we have uh, these little holes, but don't worry, we got corks. So we're gonna plug the holes with a hammer and uh, we also need to split the top open. So we're gonna be doing that and you'll get to see. And then we're just gonna test first getting in the space, if we can lean out, we're all gonna do that. So first off, uh, we'll try and plug the hole. Come on in Oz, he's your... Do you reckon, all right, all right, like that, all right? I'll hold it still. You'll, you'll hold, hold it still Oz, hold it still. <laughs> it fell out. <laughs> All right. right. Steak. I need to like whack it really hard. There we go. That's not a good sign. Try and put that material down. Let's see if we can do this. Whoa. Whoa. That's tight. You don't need your scarf, do you? They don't need those. Oh, that's not coming out anytime <laughs> soon. A smaller bit of material will work much better because then we Wait. don't have this flapping around. I'm stepping away, he's got a knife. Get away everyone, I'll get ya. Are you, are you happy to cut this through this? Yep. We've solved the problem to seal the holes, all right? Could, could you slice me off another bit of material? Okay, okay, you can, you can take your rag. See, see this, see this, see? I don't need to measure that. Whoa. That is tight. Sure, trim it all you want. Right. Now, are you going to cut the meat off? It, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're enjoying that way too much. I like cutting things off. <laughs> Alrighty. 
progress. So the top should be about the same as the bottom. I'm, I'm thinking, because if we're gonna break one, I'd rather break the one with the mark on it. Um, but that has a mark too. Step back. Ugh. We're professionals here. We busted a barrel open. Oh, yeah. oh man. Whew. Have a whiff. This has clearly had wine in it before. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk just. <laughs> Shut up, step ladder. You're not even my real ladder. We need to get the wood out. Hobbits! Fellow hobbits, come! Come and noise y'all. Oh man, they got weight to them, don't they? and then back over here. Gosh. <laughs> I'm about to get in like this fermenting, fuming barrel that has wine in it. What? Oh, so strong. I feel like I don't drink alcohol. It, not only that, I've never drunk alcohol in my life. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, right? We don't drink alcohol. So, I, I reckon the fumes are just going to get... There's an echo. Hello? Whoa! Check, come and let's see if we get this. Come in close, come in close. Whoa! Can you hear that? The echo! Do you hear the echo? Come in close. Come in. Hello! Oh, wow! Come in close, let's see, let's see if we get this. Hello! Echo! Oh, gee. That's, that's, that's a year. I reckon I'm going to get drunk just off the fumes of this thing. Because... I've never drunk alcohol in my life, so I obviously don't have a high constitution for it. Okay, so we've got a step ladder. Guys, hobbits, hobbit, come here, I need your help. All right, are we ready? We are ready. Get the barrel. I do this for all the nerds, okay, who have needed to know if you can float in a barrel. It's important. It's a. This might be the greatest moment of my life. Uh, ah, ah. <gasps> I'm in! I'm in the barrel, guys! So, hang on. Are you currently enough for the Are you currently enough for the Oh look at how much you look at We can fit two people in there. Move over shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it comfy? <laughs> <laughs> All I can smell is like fermented wine. <laughs> but man, look at this. Look at this. Holy crap, this would have been uncomfortable. Are you telling me the dwarves sat in this fat? Well, how long? Was it a day or more? Well, they liked alcohol. So. <laughs> like, if I could sit. Actually, this one isn't bad. This position. Give me some pillows. Like, I, I reckon you, you could actually do this for a while. It would be heck uncomfortable after a, you know, mo a time. You know, guys. <laughs> okay. Ben and Oz, roll me onto the side, and then roll me over a couple of times. Here you go, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, how do I smell? Like an Italian person. That's like a that's like a carnival ride, but you don't you don't you go to the carnival. This barrel rider. So, okay. You could get sealed in one of those, and even if it's rolling around in the water, if it's airtight, you'll be a cat. The problem, problem, is if it is airtight, how much air do you have? And oh. there, you'd probably last a couple of hours tops. No, like even that? Hours. I don't even think a couple of hours. Do you want to go? Who wants to go? I want to go. I want to go. I want to go in there. So bring your knees up forward and see if you can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> It just makes you happy. You just want to giggle. I think it's the alcohol. Do you, do you want to do you want to try the roll? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. This man was not meant to take this angle. 
<laughs> oh man. All right, so I don't have the lapel mic on now because I'm gonna get ready to get wet. All right, barrel rider. You don't just wanna roll it into the water? Yeah. It's not too cold. It's nice and muddy though. Actually, oh, that is cold. Damn it. <laughs> Bloody freezing. <laughs> this is ice. So, all right, we have a first test. Oh, wow. Let's see if it'll even stay upright with nothing in it. I don't think it will. Okay, so that's the first test. It is floating already. So this is remarkably buoyant for something so heavy and it does not want to stay upright. Ooh. Oh, how cold is it? You pansies. And hey, come on in. All right then. This is remarkably buoyant, but it is not stable at all. No, go all further in, further in. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, face the camera. Now, not that cold at all. It's ice! It's ice! Whoa! <laughs> oh. I really don't want to fall in the water now. Let's see if it stays buoyant. Well, it'll be buoyant, but if it stays upright, I don't think so. I, I can't believe how quickly this started. It's floating right now. And look at this. Look at how buoyant that is. It must be a combination of the wood and the, um, well, the, the air. That's the air pocket that's creating. Oh, oh it's even colder a second time you step in. Yeah, I know! <laughs> so I put that down. I'm gonna get in. Oh. Hit the barrel. <laughs> right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> My foot! My foot! <laughs> ah! Good thing the friggin' freezing water is keeping it from swelling. Ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, the pain's dissipated because both my feet are on fire from ice! <laughs> Get in the barrel already! <laughs> I jabbed him with uh, the foot of this. By accident! Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Alright, guys. Ah. Uh. Uh. What was that? Push that over. <laughs> Push that over. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna stop. be gentle and yep. roll me into my so, bed and we'll see how buoyant yeah, I remain. You want to maintain a low center of gravity. Yeah. So low that... center of gravity is gonna be key for this. So where I lean is actually crucial here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I try and sit myself right in the center, start me taking it back again. Do not, do not drop. We're not gonna drop okay. your shit. Oh, 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 leap forward, <laughs> leap forward. <laughs> I tried to stand up, Shane. I tried to. That was like not stable at all. No. Nah. So I reckon you're going to have to half fill the barrel with water no. in order to make it. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> what about his feet? He's going to need those. <laughs> right, look, look, I'll do it. Uh, so we're going to lean it down, and get a bit of water in. So it's, it, it's more stable. It's a lot more stable than what it was, but it's not going to stay up. So, the, so basically, if you want this to be completely stable, you need to get more than halfway the barrel up. We might have to do it. Are we hobbits or are we baptizing something? <laughs> do you want to try it, Oz? Yeah, yeah, let me get in. Hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't you drop me in <laughs> I don't, it's disconcerting. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll kill you. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cold. <laughs> 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 it's cold in my rocks. It's cold in my stones. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold! I'm getting it deeper! Ah! Ah! Oh, my nuts are cold! Oh! All right. Now you need to center your gravity. Center yourself. Center yourself. Lean forward. Lean forward. Yeah. There we go. Now we're going to try and get it further back. Oh. 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 So, okay. uh, it's fully buoyant. And it does not want to stay upright. What if I what if I try balance? No, no, getting higher will make it worse. Oh, okay. All right, all right. We need to try with more water. I'm getting used to the cold. Oh, nuts. So. <laughs> Oh, it's cold. Okay. Oh, my nipples. No, oh, yeah, I am. All right. 
do this properly, I need to sacrifice my nads to the freezing water. For you Americans watching, here in Australia we call that spanner water. It tightens your nads! <laughs> I never heard that one. <laughs> hey, Chad, you're making a Sunday. Because <laughs> both your nuts and your bananas frozen. <laughs> Let's put more water in. I reckon we can go up to halfway almost. Well, yeah. all right, let's test it by itself. It's a barrel by itself, nothing else in. It's not bad. All right, this is interesting. Like, it wants to tip over, but it's not bad. You need it to kind of, we need the barrel to almost sink down to that level for it to Let's be somewhat stable. Going back in! Ah, I can't feel my feet, like really, I can't. So I need to try and center my gravity. Good thing I, yeah, good thing I went into the water because <laughs> I'm right up to my nads right now. Okay, right, that's it, that's it. So, so, is it wanting to tip? Yes, it's still wanting to tip. It's still wanting to tip, but it's more stable. Yeah, it's much easier to hold up. Should just let them go. I'm doing, I'm doing! No, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll grab you before it tips. I need more water in. All right, let's tip it. Okay, so That's I'm right. gonna tip you forward a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, just gently, gently. You got it, you got it. Let's get more water in. All right, let's try that. Step back further. Wouldn't it be a shame if you fell over right now? I think we're doing it! I think we're doing it! Whoa, whoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's unstable! All right, more water, more water. Yeah, it's gonna tip. It's wanting to tip. It's it's wanting to tip. <laughs> Oz, Oz, we need help, Oz! Oz. Oh, look at my hand! <laughs> now grab the barrel! Grab, me, grab the, the barrel, Oz! And grab in the water, boy! You scared me! Oh. <laughs> 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 we put the lid back on, we can make Oh, that's cold! <laughs> the water's here. The water is like up So, here. at this point, <laughs> is there any point? Like, what's well, the barrel no, doing? So the barrel's keeping me, like, floating. So yeah, right? yeah. So, let's see, let's put me out further. Okay. Now it's just the wood keeping me up. Yeah. Oh, that's cold! Gosh! You'll be okay, Shad, it's just some cold water. So, you can kind of float in a barrel. But at this point, is it really, like, is it really worthwhile at this point? Because I am as much in the water. There is one point. The um, the, the wood is what's keeping me afloat here. And so I'm not having, having to swim. It's like a float. It's like a really elaborate life jacket at this point. Yeah. Where you are fully in the water. It's not keeping you dry at all. But, um... It's remaining upright only because I'm lowered and there's so much water in it. Um, now it's tipping. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. So let's see how long, let's see how much I can keep it upright. That's all I need the water. Okay. Yeah, I know. So step back. Step back. Get some of the lid on those. Let's get out of shot. You know what? Let's get out of the back. How about that? No, I'm going to stay in here for a little bit. So, so I mean, interestingly enough, is it, it's in, yeah. It's surprising how much you need to try and balance and auto-correct it. It's not a stable flotation device at all. At all. But I'm wondering if there are ways you could make it stable. What if you had a rope coming out the bottom that was tied to a rock, like a really heavy rock? Would that auto-stabilize it? It would well, need to be pretty deep. I imagine that it would work kind of the same way a sinker does to a float on a fishing rod. That's what I'm, I was thinking. Let us know in the comments. Do you think there's any way to make this work better? It's gone! It's gone! It's gone! Okay. I'm gone! <laughs> there we go. And the barrel's down. <laughs> so, I have a feeling it's not nearly as practical and stable as the movie The Hobbit implies. I'm just saying. Sam, why are you doing this, Sam? 
because there's some good left in the world, Frodo, and it's worth freezing for. I, uh, Holy crap, you're a big guy. You're a much bigger. I need your help. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, you big boy, Sam. Stupid fat hobbits. <laughs> you put it all the land was spread, haven't you? We love you. You're not. You're, you're, you're pleasantly pumped. Trying to hold him down further. Oh! All right. Oh boy! Oh, oh. Yeah, you're not getting back up. Can you push out? Push out. Eject from the womb. Eject! Eject! The Eject. <laughs> I've already gone all the way in, so I'm just going to try to see how long I can balance this thing um, until I fall out. So you're going to take me into the deeper water and uh, let's do this! Take me into the deep water. We lose the barrel, we lose it. Let's do it. <gasps> Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's falling! No! It's falling! Eject! 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 Don't lose it! No, no the barrel! The barrel's floating, it's fine. There we go! So, we don't, if the first one worked, we would have got two in and then tried fighting, but because you can't even stay upright in one, um, oh. that's not, that's just, we're not going to be able to do it. The Hobbit lied to me. <laughs> I can't believe it. A movie lied to me, guys. Those like, look, those those dwarves and everything just jumping in the barrels, going down the river. Who would have thought that that was impractical? And elves running on snow and running on falling rocks. It's like the laws of physics don't apply <laughs> in Middle Earth. Peter Jackson, Middle Earth. Well, they did in the first three movies, but The Hobbit was a mess. Well, the, the books seem to have the right, I just seal them in. Hopefully they have enough air. Mm. And uh, and Bilbo just, he held onto the, one of the outsides, I think. So um, J.R. Tolkien, J.R. Tolkien, Tolkien, he knew what was up. Did he try this? Did he try floating in a barrel? Maybe. But is there a way to make it more stable? Let us know in the comments. We're looking forward to uh, reading them, seeing what you say, but also thank you for joining us as well. And uh, we'll hope to see you on the next crazy adventure that we do here on Shadowversity. So until that time, farewell. You can say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> I can't feel my nuts!